Elgato is sponsoring me to help you understand the best mic settings in the Wavelink software for the Elgato Wave 1 microphone. Now you may be asking, why do I need to use some other software with this USB microphone, the Wavelink software? Long story short, it lets you pull in music, game audio, Discord, Skype, Microsoft Teams, browser audio, everything all into one digital audio mixer that I recommend to my consulting clients all the time. It's so incredibly simple. This tutorial assumes that to get to this phase that you have uh, plugged in your microphone, that you have done the Windows settings on your microphone, you have an updated the firmware in the Wavelink software, it's powered up and it's ready to rock. If you haven't done all of those steps to get to where you have the microphone interfacing with the Wavelink software, then you need to watch my previous tutorial videos to catch up to where we're at. It's really simple, catch up, here we go. So within the Wavelink software, you are going to see if all the previous steps were done correctly, Elgato Wave 1 here as your initial input on your digital mixer. So what you're going to do is click the drop down menu and there's a number of settings here you're going to want to adjust. So I recommend, I know this is a minor setting, but I recommend changing the name of the microphone to something that makes sense to your brain. I'll leave it as Elgato Wave 1, that's cool with me. You name it mic, microphone, whatever you want to call it to help your brain out. Setting number two is important on the Wave 1 because you only have one dial that does one type of thing, and you can switch it on the front of the microphone. So what do I mean by that? Here under dial function, you can choose whether the dial on the front of the mic changes your mic volume, your input gain, or it changes your output volume, which is basically your headphone jack. So what do I mean by that? This physical knob here on the front of the microphone, you can change what it does in the software based on what your preference is. Now, my preference is to use input gain when you're setting the volume on the microphone initially. So let's do that. We're gonna choose input gain from this menu. So when we're looking at device input below here, generally speaking, you're gonna to wanna to get the mic about hang 10 distance from your mouth. So like this, thumb on your mouth, pinky should be touching the front of the mic, something like that. That's optimal distance with this microphone in my opinion. Great, hang 10 distance away. You're there with me? Great. So now you're just going to talk at a presentation level like I am right now, and you're going to look at this input level right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to physically turn up the knob on the microphone. As you can see, when I turn the physical knob, it's changing the digital version here in Windows. And you can turn up the knob and get that volume level up to where you want it to be. You can also, of course, use your mouse to adjust the volume too to precise uh, locations. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the volume about 80% 85% the way up here. You don't want it past 95, 90, 95% here at the end of the bar, about 85% the way up. And once it, it's at about 85% the way up, leave it there. You don't want to over modulate the microphone. You don't want to clip the microphone and have the quality reduced, okay? That's optimal. So right about where you see right here, 85% the way up, 90% the way up, stop there. Don't crank it higher than that. Got it. Okay, great. So the next thing that we're doing here is we're adjusting the headphone jack settings. So if you want to adjust the volume that you're hearing through your headphones, what we can do is go back up above, choose dial function and choose output volume instead. All right. So then when we change output volume, when we physically adjust the volume here on the mic, uh, at the, with the dial there, then it'll change the, how loud the output is from the headphone jack on the back of the mic into your headphones. Got it? But here's the next setting that's really cool. Not only can you adjust the volume, but in the software here, in Wavelink software, you can choose what you're listening to. So this is the unique function of monitor mixing here in Wavelink software. So if the dial's all the way over to the left, where the microphone icon is, you're only gonna hear yourself through your headphones through the mic. Maybe you prefer that if you're just doing a solo recording. If you have the dial all the way on to the right, you're only going to hear whatever's playing back on your computer. So maybe music, game audio, some call you're on, whatever it is. You're only going to hear other people, not yourself, other things, not yourself. And if you want it somewhere in the middle, then you can choose how much of yourself versus how much of the mix that's happening on your computer you're listening to. Adjust that, get that in the right setting, and then you can choose, then you can adjust the dial here on how loud that is in your headphones. Generally speaking, I recommend leaving your dial function after you set your mic volume to just output volume, 
So you can adjust the volume on the fly for yourself. Let's say something gets super loud or you want it louder, you can adjust physically on the mic, which is great. Now, when it comes to audio enhancements, there are a few things that are really important. In my personal opinion, I think that the Elgato Wave 1 microphone has a very bassy sound. Same thing with the Wave 3, super bassy. And so uh, what I do recommend doing is using a low cut filter on this microphone, and it cuts the super low end boominess of the microphone out uh, and allows only like the low mid end, mid end and high end through. So here, let me clarify. If the microphone is very close to your mouth like it is right now for me, hang 10 distance away, you're probably gonna wanna use the enhanced low cut filter. If the microphone is going to be sitting on the table stand, let's say on your desk somewhere, like over there, then you probably don't want to use the enhanced low cut filter because you're gonna want the bassiness to come through. Does that make sense? So let me just simplify this. If the mic is close to your mouth, check this box. If the mic is not close to your mouth, uncheck that box. That's my general recommendation there, okay? The clip guard function, do it. What does clip guard do? It just makes it so that if you talk really loud, if you sneeze, if your dog barks, if your kid tackles you, uh, it will prevent the microphone from clipping above a certain volume level and crushing the ears of all your listeners. And there's the wave gain lock option. I don't check this, but you can if you want to. So basically what this does is it prevents programs like Discord and Skype and Slack and whatever you're doing calls on from adjusting your volume automatically if you accidentally have that setting checked somewhere else. So if you have not manually gone into all of your communications programs like Zoom and what have you and unchecked the box that uh, automatically adjusts your volume, then you'll wanna turn this on. If you don't wanna bother with that, then turn this on. And that means that once you set your input volume here within the Wavelink software, your mic volume will always be perfect no matter which program you're using and that no programs can take control of your microphone, if you will, and adjust your volume and jack it up and so that people won't be complaining about how they can't hear you. Got it? So if you don't wanna mess with it in the other programs, um, click this button. If you're fine individually doing that setting, unchecking adjust volume automatically in all of your communications program, then you can uncheck that box. Those are your best settings within the Wavelink software to optimize the quality of your audio. And now, as you can see, when I talk in my final stream mix down here, my volume has got about 80, 85% here on the mix. So if I bring that into OBS, if I bring that into Zoom, if I bring that into Streamlabs OBS, whatever it is, my volume is gonna be nice and high, but not too high um, to where it's distorted. And then you can mix it accordingly through whatever methods you're wanting to use. That's the best mic settings in the Elgato Wavelink software. Once again, links below if you want to click and purchase this product or check out the official accessories for the microphone. And thank you so much for Elgato for supporting the channel. Adios.